couple of dragons. Come on, baby. Keep smoking. Oh, yeah, I got a number over here. Look at that. The last week, sitting in the car. I'm gonna pull this out of the way. Show you the back. Alrighty guys, it's finally here. I have a problem with the taillight on the driver's side of my 2007 Jeep Liberty. Uh, for some reason, the driving light, marker light, the one that's on when you're driving at night, was not wanting to stay on. I thought maybe it was just a bad bulb, so I bought some new bulbs. And before I got a chance to change the bulbs, I got pulled over by the police. Fortunately, the officer was nice enough not to write me a ticket. So I got online, and I looked on eBay, and there were $50 on eBay, and I searched Amazon, and it was only $58 on Amazon, and I would much rather buy from Amazon than from eBay. I trust Amazon more than I trust somebody on eBay. So... I ordered a new tail light and it just arrived. And oh wow, I hope this works. It looks a little different. It looks like it should though. So we're gonna go out and uh, unhook my other tail light and give this one a try. So we will get you back when we get outside. All right, let's compare them. Uh, looks the same to me. The only thing that's different is on the back, the plug. My other one, the plug is built into the taillight, and then the connections run inside the taillight from the plug to the lights. And that's where the problem is, is somewhere inside the taillight. So hopefully this will actually be better because these wires, I can repair them if I need to. So, we're gonna pull the tail light off and uh, give the new one a try. All right, these screws are a little tricky to get to. You have to have this uh, star bit, T20 Torx bit. See there, T20. And you can see the screw right there and the other screw there. You gotta kinda reach your hand back in on one side while on the other to take those screws out. So, let's see if we can get back in there. I gotta reverse the screwdriver. I'm glad I got this before my trip. I'd hate to make a trip across the country with a bad tail light. Pull that door a little bit, reach down through so I don't drop the screw and lose it. There's a couple of little uh, little prongs that hold the tail light in. I'll get you back around to the other side and we'll pull it off. All right. There's two little prongs that hold this tail light in. Just grab a hold of it, pull. And one of mine were broke off anyway. I put some tape on here to try to hold tension on it, to make it work, which it did for a little while. Clip you got on do. Unplug that wire. See them how mine is different. It plugs in here. And then the connections from here are inside the light. You can't get to it. And the little the little prongs, there's one there. The other one's broke off. Now in here, I'll have to get the multi-tool and pull it out of there.
Take the multi tool. There we go. Okay. Now comes the true test. Let's plug in. And it does, and there's the little locking clip. And it locks. Poke that back in there. Line up those two little prongs. Snap them in. Let's go around the other side and put the screws back. All right, let's put the screws back and we will turn the headlights on and give it a test. started. Put your hand down in there. It's a little difficult to get to. I dropped the screw. And where did it go? Alright, let me get this screw out of here and we'll come back to you. All right, the screw fell all the way through onto the ground, but I found it. Get my hand in there and get a hold of it this time. Just kind of hold the tail light back while I tighten it up, since those holes are spotted, so you make it fit tight against the vehicle. Back to tighten up the first one. All right, let's uh, put the tools away, close up the tailgate, and test out the new tail light. All right, I put the screwdriver away. Let's get my multi tool here picked up, put it back in my pocket. Let's turn on the tail lights and make sure that light comes on. Hey, hey, what do you know? There we go. Let's test the turn signal. Oh, now put the key in. The turn signal works. Let's try the backup lights. And that works too. Alright, there we go. We're ready for the trip now. Well, there you go. As you see, replacing the taillight assembly. Uh, it's, the box said 2005 to 2007. Mine's a 2007. But, as you see, replacing the taillight assembly on a 05 to 07 Jeep Liberty is very simple. You need a, you know, Torx 20, T20 bit, and about five minutes. Very simple, very easy. Take one out, put one on, and I'm ready for my trip now, and I don't have to worry about getting pulled over again for not having a taillight. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate everybody's comments. I try to rep reply back to everybody's comments, but I'm going to be gone on this trip. As of this Friday, I've got 16 days off of work, and I'm planning on doing a whole lot of driving. So, we will see you on the road.